Hello and welcome back to Intermission Plane Resident Evil. I'm Michael. I'm Ryan. And I'm Stuart. And let us continue. Yes. This is going to be a fun session, especially for me, for what I have to talk about today. Oh god, what? Okay, a few weeks before this record went, before we even did this record, mm -hmm. an incident happened. Uh oh. Pizza is angry at Games Workshop of all companies. What? What? <laughs> yes, mm -hmm. Pizza, the Animal Pre Preservation Anti Fur Society, uh -huh. is angry at the Games Workshop for the Space Wolves model line because their model has plastic fur. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically it. They're pretty much arguing that even in the far future of mankind, fur should still be a no. But it's plastic. They're saying that it glorifies fur. But it's not real. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> I know that. Stuart knows that. Yeah. You know that. The morons at PETA do not. Mm. Or the specific moron. I'm not going to name his name because I don't want to... You know, make the poor guy's life a living hell. Sounds like it already is to me. Mm. I mean, if you've got nothing better to do than join a group like PETA. Mm. I mean, I'm not for the fur trade. Mm -hmm. it's like, it's the, obviously, you're not like for the fur trade, but PETA has been known to do and say some very off things. Yeah. Like, there was a small... I can't if it, There was a part of the company that... Um, not company, you know what I mean? They were... They, who were for, basically, like... They were putting down, like, healthy puppies... So they wouldn't be pets or something. What? It, I kind of it was ages ago I read about this, but it was a part of Peter who were um, putting down like healthy cats and dogs so they wouldn't be pets or something. They were better off dead. Jesus like, Christ! I know, which is really yeah. horrible. You should never put a healthy animal down. I know. Yeah, release it to the wild, and maybe it'll figure out how to fend for itself. Not a part of domestic cat or dog. Well, a cat maybe, but a, a cat dog maybe. Dead, a probably dog, not. Probably not. Yeah. But it's that sort of thing of eventually you'd probably be able to rewild them. Not that you'd ever want to do that. We kind of domesticated the buggers for a reason. But, um. The Peter thing is that apparently it's like the 40k line glorifies fur. Mm. Well, it's like the Space Wolves part of it glorifying the fur trade. And it's like. <coughs> you not, not do really. pay attention to the lore, right? Mm. Yeah. Because the wolves' fur that the Space Wolves wear. Is not a normal wolf. Mm. These things are called thunder wolves. Mm -hmm. According to the lore, these things stand four meters tall at their shoulders, mm. and they are strong enough to carry fully armored, armed and armored Adeptus Astartes around on their backs. Yeah, because so they're used as combat mounts. Mm -hmm. So, so it's not like they're defenseless creatures. And especially because the way they get the fart is the most important part. Mm -hmm. It's a test of skill. Mm -hmm. It's basically a giant dick waving contest for the Space Wolves, mm -hmm. but it's also a part of their training. Mm -hmm. Before they can receive power armor, mm -hmm. they have to kill one of these things mm -hmm. with their bare hands. Mm -hmm. And these. So it's not like a guy in like tactical dreadnought armor with a missile launcher 50 miles away. Mm -hmm. No, this guy's up close and personal. But at the same point, that doesn't even really matter. It's an alien species. Yeah. It's not like they're... A, they're not real, and B, it's not like it's just some... It's not like Cruella de Vil. Yeah. <laughs> it's not yeah. like someone just wearing a fur coat for fashion or whatever. It's yeah. an yeah. alien species wearing it for some other reason. It's a status mm -hmm. symbol. Mm -hmm. Now, this is my own personal view of this, in, well, on, like, fur in general. Mm -hmm. If you are using other components for the animal for a reason if it has a purpose I'm fine with it mm, yeah like I wouldn't go and kill a tiger because oh the tiger has lovely fur mm -hmm. hell I wouldn't kill anything for its fur mm -hmm. but we do it all the time it's called species control the population controls when well, to be fair, tigers are like in danger. Yeah, so I, I mean, I'm not saying like. I'm just meaning it's like you know, it's like tigers is probably a bad example, but I did say it's like any other thing. Mm -hmm. but it's like you do have that. It exists for a reason. If a population of animal is breeding too much, you go and kill a lot of the buggers. Mm -hmm. Now, because that's mainly just to make sure that they don't endanger other wildlife, mm -hmm. and that they don't breed out of control. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To be fair, so lots of species tend to do that themselves anyway. Yeah. But so if they're breeding too much and, you know, things like population control are necessary, mm -hmm. then if you've already having to kill them for that reason, then that makes sense to, you know, reuse what's having to be killed anyway. 
I'm not saying do what apparently PETA claims that some third world countries do, which is, uh, and some first world ones as well, but mm -hmm. I don't pay it. I don't care what they say about that. It's not entirely true for everyone, which is that they keep little foxes in cages and feed them rat poison. And it's um, like, yeah. PETA claim that. Apparently it's like in some third world countries the fur trade can get away with that. And it's like in completely inhumane. And I agree. Yeah, it is. But, but it's that sort of thing of like, you know, if you're going to kill it humanely, okay. But if you're going to, if there's a purpose behind killing it, I'm fine with it. Mm. Yeah. I don't. It's like, if you're going to use something that you kill, I don't mind if you kill it. Like, you know, killing a cow for food makes sense. Mm -hmm. We do it all the time. Yeah. If you're going to kill a rabbit and use the rabbit for, like, all of its parts. I'm fine with that. I mean, it was an episode of Scrubs where the janitor did that. He brought out a rabbit that he'd killed mm -hmm. and had turned into a salt and pepper shaker. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't want that. <laughs> yeah, that'd be really morbid. Uh, I know that's morbid, but I'm just saying at least he used it all. And <laughs> no, I'm lo you're losing me now. <laughs> I'm just saying, that's in my opinion, is like if you're going to use it for a purpose. Oh, uh -oh. oh for... These bastards come out of the walls! I actually came through the door. <laughs> eh, close enough. Right, where's the grenade? No. Damn it. And cannon. Aha! Things dying, yeah. But I mean, the entire okay. situation's ridiculous anyway. Mm -hmm. But I'm not even at the funniest part of the ridiculousness yet. What? The guy who made the article said he was writing a letter to the head of Games Workshop to try and reach an agreement about the fur for the Space Wolves line. But the fur's not real, so what's he supposed to do? <laughs> That's the thing, though. It doesn't matter. The guy who runs Games Workshop doesn't give a flying fuck what anyone says. He has had letters from his own fan base. Mm -hmm. Like, the guys who love Games Workshop, and you think, okay, maybe a couple of them would get a response. Mm -hmm. Even like you know the ones that are just like really angry, you think after a while you go fuck it, I'm making a statement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a theory that his letterbox is connected to a shredder, <laughs> and I would not argue against it. <laughs> so if Peter wants to argue against, it'd be different if it were they were using actual animal fur. For yeah, the I could, Then I'd be yeah. like, okay, that is a bit fucked. Yeah, up. I could understand that, but they're not. It's <laughs> just fake plastic fur, so I don't think it's. It's clearly not hurting any actual animals. Yeah. It's just stupid. <laughs> it's like we have morons being morons. Now, to be fair, the article I read was only one guy. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's the entirety of PETA or if it's just him. Well, it is a big organisation, so probably not the entirety. But it's still bloody stupid that that's the case at all. Okay, we need to find another one of these. Mm -hmm. And currently I'm stumped on where to find one. No, we'll leave that Wasn't one. there um hang on. Wasn't there one that we um used earlier in the game? Yeah, it was to open the the door, which was up there. Yeah. Basically. It wasn't the it was the one that was like it led to the other area. Like, to the gardens where we had to go use the cranks. Yeah, uh, I think I remember how. You know, where you got jumped by the dog and died the first time. Yeah, I think that was round about Cause there. It was somewhere. I, I remember it was outside the mansion itself, but on the way to the other area. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure we used a hexagonal thing like that there. wonder if we can remove it. Go have a look. See. Could be wrong, 